some of the activities that are planned for the month and by the way this is what happens every month of October and some of the activities of course like gender-based violence and femicide are activities that we want 365 days of the year but in particular during the month of October the activities that we'll have as a department which I think the DG and the DDGs who are here can further elaborate on if need be an active aging campaign which is going to be in the month of October but for us active aging is something that again has to be carried out 365 days because we have a lot of elderly people who really need to be assisted as they are growing older to be kept alive to be kept active but also to be kept healthy a day before yesterday I was actually pained when I saw that video of the old lady who was being removed from a house that she has owned because somebody else had bought that house. I think she's more than a hundred years old. This is the message to our communities. We need to treat the elderly with respect. We need to try and do our best to make sure that in the last days of their lives, they really are protected by our families. It's the gender-based violence and femicide interventions by DSD, as I indicated. Issues dealing with hunger, food security, nutrition and poverty eradication, support to non-profit organizations and our partnership with civil society organizations through the National Development Agency. Matters affecting youth, such as teenage pregnancy, alcohol and substance abuse. And for me, this issue of alcohol and substance abuse is one thing that we need collectively, not only the Department of Social Development, but from the police to health to education. Our nation cannot be drowning in alcohol. We cannot have the levels of alcohol, particularly amongst young people in the township, which has, by the way, crept into the rural areas too. This is something that we will have to really focus on as a department, but of course working with other departments. And then, of course, our community engagement amongst others. Um, the Deputy Minister, I'm sure most of you would be aware, most of the time she's out in the country somewhere with one program or the other, which is related to some of the issues that uh, I have um, raised here. I do want uh, to indicate that as a department, we are expected that we implement these relevant programs of social development portfolio will be implemented through the cabinet approved district development model. In other words, pursuant of the 2022 social development month, the relevant programs which I've just indicated now, and I'm sure the department will continuously indicate where we are as uh, 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 the portfolio, but of course myself, the minister and the deputy minister in engaging with our communities. Because social development is about the people, the success of this year's programs will be evident uh, in the interventions that I have indicated, but specifically these have to resonate with the priorities of the people in the communities where they are ca being carried out. In other words, active citizenship is the key ingredient because there is nothing about people without the people. We are, as a Department of Social Development, really doing the best that we can to make sure that our programs are relevant to the communities, but we must not be the ones that are developing these programs, sitting in our offices without engaging um, the communities because the impact of our, of our programs must be felt by our communities, street to street, community to community, house to house even, because if you look at the issue of gender-based violence, many a times people know that there's something happening next door in their neighbor, but they hardly talk about it. This is why we are saying we want house to house, street to street, community to community. We also have to be relevant to the communities where they are being implemented while also being responsive to the felt needs of these communities. The deployment of programs pursuant of this year Social Development Month must mark the material shift and realization of the one district, one budget, one plan in the 52 districts and metropolitan uh, municipalities. In other words, the resources for the implementation of the relevant program must shift 
to the consent uh, municipalities. We are here in Pretoria. Even the, the social development at provincial level, people are at provincial level and offices, but the work must be seen and must be done by our local structures. The theme of this year is United in Fight Against Poverty and Other Social Ills, and this must consist in the, in the national provincial spheres of government capacitating, developing the necessary resources to and entrusting the district and metropolitan municipalities to fight against poverty and the social ills. The Social Development Month takes place during the month when we are also commemorating Mental Health Month. And I do want to say here, when I was signing my performance agreement with the president and the deputy president, one of the issues that the deputy president raised at the time was the issue of mental health. And I think that the impact of COVID-19 has even made the situation worse, where many of our people have lost their jobs, many have lost their homes, many have lost their livelihoods, and therefore we will have to focus on the issues of, man of um, mental health.